Well, you brought up Chaps kind of briefly. Do we want to touch on it? Because we didn't do it well, last week. We talked week. about it. I mean, we did talk about it last week. I don't have a lot to say about it, really. That I didn't you say said it. you wanted to think about You wanted to ponder it. I well, I just, you, you know, it's, I, it's fine. Like, I don't, you know, I respect that he's trying his best <laughs> to be a good father uh, for his child. I personally, at that age, would not bring my child into that story like that. Myself, he chose to. That's fine. I mean, I bring my kid on to talk about wrestling. I, I just think that's probably different. But, you know, it's, it's I don't. I, I, I don't feel, I wouldn't, I just wouldn't do it. It's got nothing to do with, and as I've said, I support whatever decision they make. It just feels to me, and I think the, 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 the child is eight years old, maybe nine, nine. nine? That's yep. Harry's age. Okay. Feels young to me, to me, but you know, he, he obviously feels different. Uh, well, and, you're talking about the, the desire to publicize it. What about the execution? Like he talked about point a to where they came to the decision to oh make. i don't mind that i mean you know I, it's his kid i you know i i, I where it gets it, again we we i think mike was here we had a mom yeah. um right uh adrian i think yeah sitting was? right yeah. here two years ago i guess right yeah yeah uh <clears throat> yeah i guess it would have been well i always think of that so i think of her whenever i think of this issue because she kind of taught me a lot about how yeah, a parent would deal with that sort of thing but the difference is, and hopefully someone can educate me on this, because I just don't know, but isn't non-binary more of just like a language issue? I, I, I think. It, like, so that's why I think it's almost like co-opting the plight of transgender people, where there's really, like, transgender is really feeling like you're in the wrong body, and you feel like the best way to get rid of that feeling is surgery or hormones or whatever, whatever the solution is. Whereas non-binary is like, you said the wrong word... <laughs> I just feel like Mike's going to be in jail no, for, the not last, for the last 45 <laughs> that's, seconds. Yeah. That's why I thought I was like, well, it's a good thing we're not alive. <laughs> not necessarily. Oh, Isn't non-binary where, you know, you're... Well, well look, it, look, look it up. Yeah. Just look it up. Go ahead. I mean, because I, I don't want to wade into something that I'm not convinced I know exactly. Because to me, it sounds like if I said, uh, you know, Kirk has a few nice desks in here, and you're like, there's only one desk. And I was like, well, I have pluralized desk. That's just what I do. Right. Like, that's what it seems like to me. But maybe I'm an idiot. Well, uh, I am in it. Well, yeah, but so am yeah. I on this. I think, right. I, and it's moving fast, and like I recognize that. that it's more. Go ahead, Dave. Yeah, non-binary gender identity is just one term used to describe individuals who may experience a gender identity that is neither exclusive woman or man. Fluid, correct or yeah. no? Uh, yes, it's uh, yeah, yeah no. gender fluid. Yep, right, yeah, gender, that, yeah. That, right, and that's and that's not that big of a deal. Like, I don't mean it's not that big of a deal. What I mean is, I'm not like I said, I, I'm fine with it. I it feels just, like nitpicking. <laughs> Well, I just, like, I just, it's, it's I just, they, not he well, or yeah, she. Well, yeah, but if you're, if, if the, if, if they're more comfortable with that, that's great. I just don't know. I don't know. It just feels awfully young to me, but it's not my kid, but it just feels really young to me. And it's some, I don't know. I see chaps retweeting everyone that says he's a great dad doing these great things. I'm kind of like, eh, I don't know. I, you know, I, yeah. it feels self like maybe that's why point. he did it. No, yeah. but but no, but like I, I it's kind of like well you want I, I don't know. I just I would just leave it. I just I'd wait a few years. Me personally, yeah. but you know, he chose not to. And I, Chaps chose not to. Whatever. And he would know better like, cuz I was about to say something where I'm like, well, I wouldn't know. But he would know better. But my first thought is that like now that's a public thing where like the kids at school know that and Yeah, but shit. they don't care. Well, I have no idea. Well, I mean, that, I just that's what don't, I don't know. Yeah, kids today don't I mean like I could tell you with Kate and her friends like they right. don't they don't care. Yeah, like, see they, that's what I wasn't sure of. Yeah, legitimately they, it's just it's which is great. Well, and, when you're of proper age, right? Like if this kid's 9, right? But, and but he I doesn't have, know what but, bathroom to go to because he doesn't identify well, with not, either well, it's one. it's not he. He or she. What? Right. They, I think. They, no, but I mean, they don't know what to do. Like, you have to... Well, I think they do, though, because it's the world is different now. Like, it, it is like... I know Harry's that age, and, you know, there are kids in this class who use those pronouns, and he doesn't give a shit. Like, he's like, yeah. okay, great. Like, they don't... It, that's good. Maybe Chaps' point is, well, it's not that stigmatized. Like, it's not that big a deal if we right. do it, and, and they change their mind two years from now. So, which, which he, is could be, he could be right about that. If, I don't know. if it's handled like, uh, hey, just like, I'd rather you not... I'd rather you call me they, or whatever. That I have no problem with. Yeah, right. What I hate is the like sneering look. Like, don't you know? How dare you? Yeah, it's say? Not, yeah, the, it's like, well, how the fuck would I know that? And that impacts progress, I think, when they, when right. they do that. And maybe Chaps is not. I, I have no idea. I mean, I hate Chaps. So that's also part of it. Right. I mean, I'll be fair. I fucking hate the guy. So <laughs> right. You know. But yeah, no, I don't. I mean, I wasn't afraid of talking about that. That's fine. I just, no, no, I, I, I'm not. I wasn't saying that. I was saying if I said something like I just did, where you're like, eh, we could do without that. You know. No, I think it's, I think it's all, again, I think it's all part of the conversation. The problem is you have 
And I've said this, like, you know, Abigail Schreier writes a book that was very controversial. A lot of people didn't like it. And they just wiped the book out off the planet. You know, a guy like Murchison, to me, the, the transgender extreme community is very dangerous. Like, they are out to ruin people's lives, like people like Murchison. So, yeah. like, this conversation, which I think is valuable and pretty open-minded and just trying to, a couple of fucking guys who are from a different generation. I'm from two generations removed. You're one generation removed, say, from it. Right. We're just fucking trying to figure it out and keep up and get information. They're like, no, this is hate speech. And it's like, well, it's in no way hate speech. Like, I support no. the kid a thousand percent. This is, that's not part of the conversation. But the conversation is, let me know what's going on so I can fucking figure it out. We're doing the best I can. You know? And the weird part of that movement is instead of saying, oh, that's two guys that don't understand it, so let's educate them. They'll find a clip that can be twisted oh, sure. where it sounds like you're being a piece of shit or I'm right. being a, or whatever. Right. And be like, look at these fucking assholes. Yeah. Wouldn't be uh, surprised. We, we also want to help. Right. Like I think back to my like when I was growing up, like I hear this so often now that I think back to when I grew up, like I knew a girl who was a tomboy her like until she was a junior in high school. Like she never wore a dress. Was she emotionally impacted by all these things? And, and I don't mean to diminish any of this. How often you think about this, Dave? No, but I'm saying when this comes up, I think yeah. about situations like that. And, and he I goes out uh, like a bench and stares at the huh. lake and thinks about it. <laughs> also, I wonder if tomboy is an offensive term now. Probably. Did she wear shorts one day? <laughs> Jesus, she never did. You know what I mean. And I was silent. His wife shaking him. Dave! <laughs> Everybody knew! <laughs> no, I know what you mean. But yeah, I think I do not as often as I'm you. I'm sure Harry asks a million questions on everything he sees on TV. That right? you have no, that you don't even know about is what? a problem. <laughs> so somebody sent a clip even this morning about it. It was like a, it was like a PSA about non-binary that was on Nickelodeon. If I had a nine-year-old kid, I would assume they'd look at me and say, oh, that's interesting, and have a ton of different questions about it. It seems like Chaps kind of had a similar thing where his child saw something in a movie, asked him about it, and then he went through this process to almost answer the question for him versus it developing naturally. Yeah, well, I don't I, know what the right answer is. I don't either, is, but. And, then I, and I do think sometimes I wonder about the political motivation of all that. I, I don't know. But yeah, yeah, it's it's moving at fucking three million miles an hour, and I think the next two generations away, it'll be, it'll just be not a big deal. Maybe no one will have freaking. I mean, they're talking now. I think you know about not assigning uh, pronouns at birth to kids now. Yeah, it's so strange how I mean, like, I don't know. every maybe that's not crazy. I don't fucking know. Every like sitcom from the eighties on has an episode where it's like, oh, the kid asked about where babies come from. How right. am I going to handle it? And now we're like. Let's talk about what gender you are and let's talk. About, it's like, that's a weird thing to talk about with kids. Like if they come to some, if they say like, hey, I'm a boy today or whatever, that's fine. And you can have that conversation. But to like kind of force it down their throat seems very weird to me. Yeah. And I think I just think the publicizer at that age is is bold. I wouldn't do it. Doesn't mean that doesn't mean that I'm right. Doesn't mean that he's wrong. It's just I wouldn't have done it. But he did and whatever. And, you know, got a lot of Twitter applause and that's great. Sure and did. I hope it, you know, I hope it works out for her. Uh, for the child. So we'll see. I mean, and I'm sure, you know, I'm not, I'm sure Chap's a good parent. He's not a good, you know, I hate him, but he's probably a good parent. I mean, he is an asshole. Let's, let's be very clear about that.